Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hope and thank you for clicking on this video. If you don't know me, I have recently just started my YouTube channel and I'm really into gel nails. This video is actually a little bit different than the stuff that I usually do. So today is going to be a tier ranking because I love watching YouTubers and I've always loved watching YouTubers and one of my current obsessions is Amazing Ish Grace. She did a tier ranking of her crochet collection. So I thought I have so many nails that that I've made over the past two and a half years so I thought it'd be pretty cool to do a tier ranking also because then you can see that really it is all about practice nobody is good or talented to begin with it's all about the practice and the hard work that you put in and just staying consistent so I hope that it kind of helps you especially because some of these sets that I'm going to show you they're not good they are not good and also as always before i go into the video i just want to make sure to raise if you are considering doing your own gel nails or you want to do this craft get into nail art make sure that you stay safe and you don't touch and cure gel with your skin so always make sure that you wear gloves ventilate and also do your research please about the ingredients and lamp compatibility and all of that stuff i will have links in the description boxes i always do anyway for all of these things so yeah, just two things to keep in mind. Now, I'm gonna just quickly run through the tier ranks. So at the top we have Who Is She? Who Is She literally just means like big brain energy. Who made these? Because I don't remember being me that made these. But secondly, a vision and a vibe is I'm happy, I'm proud. They're not groundbreaking, but they're good and they're solid and it's a good outcome. Thirdly, we have kind of good, kind of bad pretty self-explanatory. Fourth, we have low-key mess. They didn't turn out that great, whether it's on the execution or the vision, and they're probably just going to stay in my collection, press-on collection folder, and never touch my hands. And then fourth, fifth, fifth, we have burn it. Burn it literally is, these caused me pain, not just the outcome was super, super unfulfilling but also that there was pain going into making them it was a lot of stress and it was a big growing lesson i will not lie to you but at the same time they caused me so much frustration making them and then the outcome didn't match the work that went into it that you just want to block it from your memory and put it to the side okay so this is in chronological order the first set that i'm going to show is this set here this was really where my skills started to improve because this was the first time that I used Korean gels. Because honest, as nice as they are and like as proud as I was of them at the time, it's mostly just stickers that I used here and ombre techniques. So it's nothing amazing, but they look pretty nice. We're off to a good start. These ones I'm gonna put in maybe kind of good, kind of bad. They're not bad. A vision and a vibe. We'll put them in a vision and a vibe because I remember being very proud of these at the time. Second is following on from this theme, I think I got the D-Gel like Deep Brew collection and it's these ones, these blue ones here. I was using Jellyfish stickers, like I was using stickers again. I also got the Jello Jello Edge Gel so I was able to scratch out like a bunch of jellyfish. I remember loving these. I was so proud of these and also because I was using the inks, you know, like marbling inks for this to really create that water themes aesthetic and really proud of these i remember really liking these actually i'm gonna put it in who is she the, the jellyfish that i made the chrome jellyfish that i made i was pretty proud of that so i'm gonna put it in who is she for the time next we have this set as you can see i was really really into doing monochrome sets at this point i think this actually is the time when my style really started to come into its own. The, I'm gonna state the obvious, the chrome in this set, I got inspiration from Junel for like the raindrops. But looking back at the, the cleanliness of the chrome, it left a lot to be desired. So as much as I was in love with this set when I first made it, I'm gonna put it in a vision and a vibe. As you know, I'm gonna put it in kinda good, kinda bad. The vision was there, but the technique left a lot to be desired. Mm, kinda good, kinda bad mid mid it's mid okay next we have this set this set was heavily inspired by crystal o on one of the tutorials that she did valentine's day tutorial i think it's pretty nice i remember being pretty happy with the outcome but the ombre it does have leave a lot to be desired it's gonna go in kind of good kind of bad this set now this set mm -mm -mm. 
no, no, no. <laughs> this set caused me a lot of pain. I'm gonna be out, right? Because you see all the line work in this. The line work goes crazy. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my work. I'm just gonna go on a little bit of a live tangent, right? Maybe this will help you. It's good to be a hard worker and it's great to be a perfectionist and really value the quality of your work. But save where you put your perfectionism. Don't always do everything to your 100%. Some things are just worth being 80%, 90%, like done is better than perfect, you know? But when it comes to my art, nail art is something where I really want to let my perfectionist tendencies kind of shine a bit more. And that translated into the line work on this set, which caused me so much pain. <laughs> so much pain. I think this set in total took me like four hours and it took me two sessions. This was the first set that I actually had to do in two sessions. I also tried to do some stuff with the roses which was essentially adding a charm and then painting over it. It just came out so ugly. It looked so bad. <laughs> so as cool maybe as this set looks, I'm going in to burn it because I want to burn this from my memory. <laughs> Truly a core memory. I wish wasn't a core memory, but it's a core memory. Next we have this set, which again, I think I was definitely in more of an experimentation phase at this point. I was also experimenting with the tips. I think I got like long medium almond tips for this. I like the 3D chrome, um, like zigzag nail. The Aurora Chrome, and I also like how the line work because I did hand draw, I'm pretty sure hand drew these stars. And I remember my chrome looks a lot cleaner here. I think this was a period of time where I was really focusing on making my chrome cleaner. It's 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 okay, we'll put it in kind of good, kind of bad. This set now, this set I remember this was a lot more experimentation, as you can tell. I feel like it, there's a lot of themes that cross over into the previous set. And that's just because I was really experimenting with my style and playing around with rural chrome and different techniques. The elephant in the room here is that this chrome is so, so messy. So for that reason, it's going in low key mess. Um, I don't think there's any more that needs to be said here. So moving on, this set. Now, as you can see, it's pretty similar, but it's way upgraded. And this was the first time that I actually started experimenting with foils. Yeah, that's what the blue diamond is. It's a foil. So then when you show it in the light, it, it shifts, right? Because that's what foil does. I remember wearing this set and being so happy with them. I was taking so many photos of them and just being really vain because that's what you do when you have pretty nails. And when they're nails that you made and you're proud of them, you just take so many photos of them. Even though it, like looking back on it is pretty simple, I think it's super clean. And I was so, so happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to put this in a vision and a vibe. Next we have this set. This set again is really super cute. I think the chrome was cute. The 3D was cute. So we'll put it in a vision and a vibe. It's pretty cute. Next we have this set. Okay, this set. This set again is one that caused me a lot of pain. And the reason for that is because this was the first time that I was trying to use Boba Low Gel. Because as you can probably see, there's like flowers. It looks so messy. It's, it's so messy, honestly. Because BD Gel is such a pain, honestly, because it just sticks to everything. If you don't have the right tools and the right non-stick paper to work with it, good luck to you. Like, God bless you. It's not going to work for you. So that's why this is going in burn it. I just remember being traumatized by the trying to work with this sticky, sticky, sticky gel. Mm -mm, no, these, these nails, oh my God, these nails hold a special place in my heart. I don't know if you remember or if you're into gel nails at the time, but last summer, everybody was about bubble nails. Everybody loved bubble nails. I just remember seeing so many videos of people trying to do bubble nails and crying. So I decided to go with an easier version of buying the XL like cocoa's gel. And if you whip it up and then you lay it over, you get bubbles. But I didn't do the best job. The bubbles are super small in the set. They're not that big. But I'm still pretty happy with this. It's like lemon, lemonade, lemon soda kind of inspired set. 
I've never actually worn these nails because this was more of a concept set, I guess. But I love the outcome and I'm super proud of them. So they are going in Who Is She? Because I just remember being so, so happy with them. And the way that I shot these nails, the way that the sun was shining as well, like, oh, chef's kids. I remember after this, I did have a bit of a break from doing nails because I was growing out my nails just to make sure they were nice and strong because I had been wearing gel nails a lot and they needed to breathe for a bit. Um, so the first nails I did after my break was these ones here. You can tell my skills definitely regressed a bit because I didn't practice for like three months. These are pretty nice for coming back into doing nails. There's nothing magical or amazing about this set, so I'm just gonna put it in kinda good, kinda bad. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just not amazing. Next, moving on from this, these are not good. <laughs> they might look good to you, but they weren't good. This was when I was trying to practice more with 3D swirls, really trying to get better at using that technique, and I just did it all wrong. If you see on the flower nail, it's so ugly. Up close, it's so, so ugly. So I'm gonna put these in low-key mess. Also because the, you know, like the layering, because this is a very Japanese style of doing nail art, gel nails. Layering of the shells within the nails were pretty nice as well, but they were just so bulky. They left a lot to be desired. Moving on from that is this set. This set is pretty cute. Again, this is, I think, the first time that I actually tried to experiment with with the aurora technique so but basically like the these aurora kind of vibes where you have the shift this was the first time that i did this um but i tried to do it with a butterfly it didn't really work it's quite bulky so as nice as it is it's going in low-key mess also the angel was from a mold so i think that worked out well it's just this set uh, the the thought process was there but the execution was not there now as you can see i love my monochrome I love using monochrome ideas, like one colour. I bought the more nail art liquids, the first and the second season of them, and I was super, super, super excited to get them, but then I didn't actually use them that much in the first few months that I had them. So that's what this set was mostly for. I really wanted to try and experiment with the more nail art liquids. I think it's pretty cute. I remember wearing these for Christmas, and I was pretty happy. Like, I felt great. There were some air aspects in this design that didn't turn out the best. Like for example, if you see the lightning bolt, the 3D on it could have been a lot better because what I tried to do was paint a purple background and then paint a magnetic purple lightning bolt, a flat lightning bolt with magnetic gel and then shift the pearls and then go over it with 3D gel. But the 3D gel was not raised enough to really give like a great outcome and also the the magnetic just it just blended into the base purple too much so these are cute they're gonna go in an efficient and a vibe because i feel like for the most part there's nothing wrong with them and i was really happy with them okay next we have these nails these nails again they look pretty nice right i was playing around with the more nail art liquids again using the pink ones i also was inspired by some korean nail techs who love to use bulky gems and make bulky gem nails. The one thing I'm gonna note though is these were should make because I placed every single one of those gems and every single one of those pearls individually. It was painful but <laughs> that's what it is. So I'm gonna put it in kind of good, kind of bad. And this is where my YouTube era started with this set. Now this set was not a strong start. I'm gonna leave the video up, but to be honest, the video quality is pretty bad because I was still trying to figure out the lighting and I was going through so much technical troubleshooting. And it's still a work in progress, but I think things are definitely improving. She is going in. I'm gonna put it in burn it because I had such good visions for this set, but then the execution of it didn't match up. It was too bulky, and the chrome that I chose to use was too dark. The contrast, it would have looked so much better if I'd used a lighter chrome. It's too thick, it's too bulky, the tips are too short. It's not the one. It looks kind of like alien egg, and not in like a great way. <laughs> so, moving on. 
and this is really where things start to get better. Now as you can see this set is kind of just like an upgraded version of the pink ink gem set from a couple of nails ago but this time I wanted to play around with more aurora techniques bringing more magnetic into my set because this is the thing with me once I feel like I kind of get a bit more confident with one skill not to the level where I've perfected it just to the level where I feel a bit more confident in it I will throw something new in <laughs> that I'm not great at to be honest I'm pretty happy with this set but there's some things in it that are not that great but overall it's pretty nice, so I'm gonna put it in a vision and a vibe. Then we have the Coquette set. I love this set. I was so proud of this set. I remember just looking at it and I was just like, wow, I did that. My hands did that. But at the same time, I don't know if it can be in Who Is She. I love the chrome. I love how clean all the chrome is and all the, the lines and all of that is so clean. But this pinky nail, with the chrome on it, it didn't turn out that well so it's gonna go in a vision and a vibe i can't put it in who is she honestly i genuinely cannot and now we have some of my most recent sets and i really just wanted to experiment with more of a fun set that's why i did the g idol nails also because wife got stuck in my head so much it got much and i wanted to do something that was quote unquote easier because the majority of this set was just line work and charms and 3D techniques. But the line work is painful. I don't want to do line work. As I'm drawing it on my iPad, because I use Freeform with my Apple Pencil to design all of my sets first. When I'm like there drawing it with my Apple Pencil, I'm like, oh yeah, it'll be so easy to paint. And then when it comes down to actually having nail art, pen and a brush and wearing gloves and, and they're painstakingly painting it. It's painful. So for that reason, this is going in kind of good, kind of bad. The line work is not the cleanest and line work just causes me a lot of pain. This next set, oh my gosh. Who is she? Like this big brain energy that made this. This right here, this two-tone Doyen Aurora set. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This is my favorite set to date that I've ever made. And the only thing that I'm sad about with this set is the fact that I painted it on pretty long tips. And I don't, even this for me is a pretty long length. That's my one regret is that I made this on long tips, but it wouldn't have slapped the same. I can tell you for certain, if I tried to do this design on shorter nail tips, it would not have looked this magnificent. I remember I recently bought a bunch of Aurora charms, like flakes, strips, foils from Taobao. And I was just really going to home uh, with all the charms as well. And yeah, it's up there. So it's going in, who is she, honestly? Because I think that I'm not going to be able to top this for a long time. And ultimately, we have this set, which is pretty similar to the last set. I was trying to experiment with some more magnetic techniques because my magnetic skills leave a lot to be desired. I remember I actually really liked the way that I did the index finger with the aurora foil, like gem, charm, you know, like where you have the foil and then you overlay 3D because I put aurora flakes onto the foil so it kind of added more dimension to it and I think that turned out really really pretty. I also was trying to do the eyes technique with these nails which didn't turn out the best and also one thing I would say is I should have really pulled the ombre down further down the nail. But you know, you live and you learn, I'll know for next time. So this is going to go in a vision and a vibe. Lastly, we have these nails. My melon soda nails. So if we're going to cycle back to the set from last summer where I had the flowers and the cocoa's boba low gel, I was really trying to work on my boba low gel skills. And that's what I, this nail is here, especially for the reason that I am actually very, very proud of how this nail turned out. I'm going to put it in, I feel like it could be in a vision and a vibe, but I'm actually going to put in Who Is She? Purely because I was able to make Bobolo gel work. That's the only reason. Also because I got the Ice Gel Silver Liner Chrome. Please buy that. Oh my gosh. If you are into gel nails and you want to draw 
designs using a silver chrome and not have to like, paint it with like black paint first and then go over it with chrome powder please just go ahead and get the ice gel silver like ice their silver chrome because I've tried the Jim B Vintage liner set and I've also tried the D-Gel silver painting pot. I'll post the photos of them here. They're not good. Don't waste your money. Please do not waste your money. The Vintage Gel, maybe it's in the name Vintage, it's not pigmented. And then the D-Gel silver painting pot is pretty glittery. It's on the more glittery side. So if you want a true silver painting chrome gel just go ahead and get the ice gel one beautiful to work with it's beautiful for that reason this set is going in who is she because i finally conquered conquest bubble gel i'm gonna keep conquering it as well okay anyway and then that is the final tier ranking as we can see Actually, I'm pretty surprised because most of them trend on the upside. I don't know if I've been a bit too generous here. I think this is okay and I'm going to give myself props because I'm also going to say the nail art that I was doing in the first year, year and a half was not good. So I don't think I would do a tier ranking for that because it will be in the bottom. If you want to see me talk about or share more of my failures and my test sessions, please also let me know, Ma, because I'm super happy and super open to sharing the ones that didn't turn out as well. That's all of what it is. It's all about progress and you tend to learn a lot more from the things that didn't go well than the things that did go well. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment if you have thoughts and or questions or anything you want to say or share. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, I hope that you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Goodbye.